Hey guys, Greg with Fun and Sun RV. Good afternoon. Time for another walkabout. This time it's on our Surveyor in the Luxury Series, the 267 RBSS, which is a full fiberglass exterior aluminum framed coach with a rear bath, front bedroom, center kitchen, living room. And here she is. Check it out. It is awesome. Right there. And as we do with all of our walkabouts, we start at the front of the coach. And you'll notice first off, with the Luxury Series, we do put a molded cap on the front, along with a tinted windshield, which is very, very nice, very, very attractive, makes it much more automotive looking. We do have our front power tongue jack right there, which is nice. And then we do have the 20 pound cylinders, which are the exchangeable cylinders. So when the tanks run dry, you can just take it to an exchange station, switch them out, and it does have a nice convenient hard cover to protect the tanks as well. Here's a neat little feature. They have a little caddy on here that can accommodate your power cord when you're not traveling down the road. So it's out of the way, not getting damaged. All that good stuff right there. And then right over here, we do have a battery disconnect. So when one of your, or when your batteries, when you're not gonna be using the travel trailer, you can shut the batteries off if you so desire. Nice touch. And again, we have a diamond plate front right there. And then this is really a nice feature too. Nice, big, full pass-through storage compartments. And what is really nice is they use a drop frame configuration. So they actually put the bottom of the compartment below the frame so it gives you a much taller area for storage inside. Very, very nice feature on that. It's finished off. And I love the little magnetic catches that they have on these to hold the compartment doors up for you. Very, very nice touch. Combination thumb lock and key lock. So if you're at the campground, you can just use your thumb lock. If you're gonna be leaving or whatever, you can key lock it closed so nobody else can get inside. And this is nice too, we do have crank down stabilizer jacks, one on each corner uh, for leveling the trailer up when you get to the campsite. And right here will be your fresh water fill. And the nice thing with that is when you're using the potable water tank, it's very, very easy. Just put the hose in there, fill her up for the potable water tank. All of your windows are a dark tint window. And this particular coach does have a good size slide out, which accommodates the couch and the dinette. As we move on toward the back, we do have an outside shower, so it gives you access to hot, cold running water to the outside of your trailer. Plus all your other hookup areas in a nice area. One spot, you have your cable TV satellite hookup, your city water connection for hooking up directly at the park, as well as your black water flush valve there, so you can rinse out your black water tank when you dump it to get all the debris out. Very, very nice touch. And right here, we do use the marine style power cord, which helps eliminate critters getting inside your trailer, mice, squirrels, whatever, by scampering up that power cord. It's a marine style hookup. On the back, you will notice we have a nice radius roof up on top there. Very, very cool. Gets better water runoff. It does have pore spouts, one on each side, as well as it's prepped for a backup camera. If you want to put a backup camera on, you can do so. And we do have a nice ladder to get up on top of the roof to do any roof maintenance that you may need to do. And incidentally, your roof uh, does carry a 15 year warranty against deterioration. One of the strongest roof warranties on any of the RVs. And I love this, on all of the luxury series, they do put this nice rack on the back, which gives you a nice storage area for bicycles, generator, firewood, anything like that. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is pull this pin out here, like so, and pull the other side out, and then it just flips down. Very, very nice. And it gives you a nice storage area right there, too. Very, very nice. All of your exterior lights are LED, which is a nice touch, and all your surveyors do have the four inch square tube bumper, which makes it very, very nice for storing your sewer hoses or fishing poles or anything like that as you're traveling down the coat, down the road. On the awning side or the door side, we do have a full length power awning, a very, very nice touch. 
with LED light strip built in, which is actually in the roller tube end, so it lights up the whole area uh, under your awning, which is nice. Gives you good ambient lighting. We do have the solid steps on all of their Surveyor Luxuries. The flip up step that goes in the door, it's much more stable, much more secure to get in and out of the trailer. And we do have the grab handle, which is retractable too. Nice touch. Tandem axles, and they are all the upgraded aluminum wheels with radial tires that do have nitrogen in them so that they do run cooler as you're traveling down the road. And up here, you will have your two stereo speakers as well as a patio light and your range hood so it exhausts all your range or your stove exhaust to the outside. These are all prepped for the uh, Wi-Fi so you can turn your trailer into a hot spot if you so desire. Right down here would be connections to put your TV outside. You have your GFI breaker plug right there which is ground fault protected and your cable hookup so if you want to put the TV outside you can do so. Nice touch. Gas electric DSI ignition hot water heater that is six gallons quick recovery works very very well. Also over here you're going to have the other side of your passenger storage compartment and again it is a good size compartment with the magnetic catches and you can see it's a huge storage area underneath here. It is lit so you got a light in there and this is nice they're all pet friendly so you do have bowls storage area for your pet for watering and feeding as well as a leash hookup on the outside here on the tongue so you can keep track of where your critter is at at all times. And these are all solar panel prepped too. And then what's nice is they do use Asdale between the fiberglass and your uh, wall structure. And the nice thing with Asdale is it's lightweight, it's waterproof, chemically inert, and it's textured. So when you do do your laminating process, you have a lot less chance of delamination because it does hold it very, very, very well. So he goes, yeah, so you have the Asdale on there. Really, really nice touch. Again, key lock and thumb lock combinations right there. And that about wraps it up for the outside of the Surveyor Luxury rear bath front bedroom. 267 RBSS. Let's check out the inside, shall we? And here we are inside the Surveyor Luxury 267 RBSS and check this out. She is awesome. It is a very, very nice practical floor plan. It's probably my most favorite floor plan in the 26, 27 foot range. I mean, it's got a huge bathroom, nice living area with a big bedroom in the front. Speaking of which, we will start our interior walkabout at the inside of the coach. And here we go, we're inside. Nice thing with all the surveyors are all your beds are actually residential, 60 by 80 bed. So all of your residential sheets will fit. So don't find any special sheets. Very nice touch there. One of the cool features too, is they do have these nice little storage cubbies off to the side here with a 110 volt plug for CPAPs or whatever. But you got a nice cup holder there for storing. If you wanted to have a drink by your bed, you can leave it there. We're not worry about getting dumped out. Gives you double shelving. And this is cool. This bottom shelf actually comes out so you can store stuff safely inside that compartment. And that's true on both sides of the bed. You do have the front window, which is a room darkening shade. And then you also have nice full length shirt lockers right there with overhead lockers above there for storage. Nice and deep, and they're, they're huge. Back in there, another one over here. And they do put a drawer over here as well on either side of the bed, which is a nice touch too. You got place for storage there. Same thing on this side, which is nice. And then your bed does lift up for storage. Right there you got access to that storage compartment. Very, very nice. And over here will be a USB charging port right down there. Nice feature. Again, all your bedrooms do use the room darkening shades. TV hookup over here, so if you want to put a TV in the bedroom area, it's all blocked and ready for it. Wire's already in there. And they use a nice pocket door 
to close off the bedroom versus a swing door that a lot of your manufacturers do. And this is a nice little touch too, again, more residential. They have light switches so that you can actually turn your bedroom light off and on with a switch. In your kitchen, you're gonna have a all solid surface countertops or the seamless one-piece countertops. Very, very nice. They do give you a countertop extension, so it gives you a little extra countertop storage there if you want it. Also, you're gonna have a nice country size or style under counter mount sink with sink lids, which one of the sink lids is a drain basket. Nice feature. And your faucet is a high rise metal faucet with a sink sprayer attachment. More residential styling there. Plenty of drawers in the kitchen, and they're all full length wood drawers, full length extension slides, wood drawers all the way down. Nice feature all the way down. Plus, you do have your storage underneath there, all shelved up and everything for pots and pans, as well as under your range, they give you another pot pan drawer, which is very, very, very nice. And speaking of the range, we do have a three burner range with an oven. All of your knobs are backlit. You do have a nice flush mount uh, stove cover to give you a little more counter space if you need it, as well as a nice knife rack behind there too for storing your knives when you're traveling. All of your burners are cast iron burners, again, more residential, and they are PZ Ignite. All you do have to do is turn the knob on, hit the sparker, and they light. Also, you're going to have a nice stainless steel microwave, which does include a turntable, and a nice power range hood for the light, and your exhaust fan to the outside. Nice feature there. All of your surveyors will have the Norcold 12 volt refrigerator. And the nice thing with the 12 volt refrigerator is since you don't have the gas components in there, your uh, refrigerator has a whole lot more space for storage because you don't have all those components in there for uh, keeping it cool on the gas. So it's a lot bigger, a lot more storage, both in the door as well as in the main cabinet area. The cool thing with total refrigerators too are they actually run on your battery when you're traveling down the road. When you get to the campground and you plug in, they do work on the 110 that way. And right next to the refrigerator will be your entertainment center. They do give you a nice TV. You do have a nice sound bar in here too, which is Bluetoothable, AM, FM, all that good stuff in there. Plus more storage right in there. Two nice little cupboards as well as you do have your gas or your electric fireplace which gives you a nice ambiance plus you can heat your trailer on gas or electric if you so you are because it is actually a heat elator and then to the back we have a very very roomy bathroom i love this bathroom you got a nice window here for ventilation again with a full shade which is nice you do have a high cfm vent fan and in most cases, you can open that vent fan up, open your windows up, turn that on. It'll actually transfer air from inside to the outside very, very quickly. And in a lot of cases, you don't need to run your air conditioner when you do that. And then you have a nice storage area in the bathroom. I mean, there is a ton of storage in the bathroom. And one of the neat little touches, I think, too, is the fact that they're using a different color wood tone in the bathroom, as well as in your main cabin area. Which, again, more residential. That's kind of the whole thing with Surveyor. Residential luxury in a travel trailer. A nice hang-up locker there with plenty of drawers down below. Again, they're all the wood, full-length extensions. You got plenty of those. As well as under storage here for toiletries, whatnot, right there, as well as right there. You do have the seamless countertops in the bathroom as well with an oversized bathroom sink. Very, very nice. And a really nice overhead medicine cabinet area. So you got your double door medicine cabinets here. And speaking of which, the cool thing with the surveyors too that is that all of your styles and your rails are a wood core material. So they're actually a pine stock 
that is wrapped to match the cabinetry and they're all pocket screwed together. So they're a lot better than using a uh, particle board that a lot of your travel trailers do. So they're all screwed together like what you'd have at home. And again, when you put screws in, you're screwing into real wood, not into particle board that can crack very easily. And then all your cabinet doors are a wood door, a real wood door, not a particle board or anything like that. And then all your hinges are the adjustable hidden hinges too which is nice. Again, much more residential. Then you do have the nice medicine cabinet. Hey guys, good to see you. Right here as well. A lot of extra storage there. And one of the really cool features on here, you got a nice big walk-in shower, which is radius with a nice glass slider doors. Very, very nice touch. Gives you plenty of room in that shower does have a tub surround so it is a fully functional shower with little shelvings areas for uh, shampoo soaps whatever and they do put a nice skylight in here too to give you natural light very very nice and then right next to that again more storage I can't get over all the storage and what's really cool about this cabinet is you have all adjustable shelves in here so you can make them however you want them you can put more in if you like to very very practical with Again, a couple drawers down below. So you have a ton of storage in this bathroom. That's probably why this is one of my favorite floor plans in the whole uh, Surveyor lineup. Travel trailers in general. Uh, nice touch here too. They do have a light switch at the bathroom so that you can turn your lights off and on from the wall, not having to reach up to the ceiling like you do with a lot of your brands. And then you have a good size walk area into the bathroom too with that pocket door. And this is a nice feature right here, right by the entry door. We have a nice walk-in closet with coat hooks. And then you have the light inside there too. That turns off and on. So you have plenty of storage in that walk-in pantry next to your entry door. Very, very nice. Very, very nice layout. And that about wraps it up for the inside of the 267 RBSS Surveyor Luxury. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Coopersville at 616-837-9768. Or you can contact our Ludington location at 231-845-8282. Or just visit us on the web at www.fnsrv.com. Again, this is Greg Grossenbacher with Fun and Sun RV, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, and happy camping, guys. Bye-bye.